Welcome to Joshly Media. In this channel, we'll bring you videos that will inspire you and motivate you to reach for your dreams. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and also the notification bell. And also leave comment below in these videos. As that said, here are the top 10 richest politicians in South Africa. At number 10, we got Pravin Godan. Even though actual net worth of Pravin Godan is still disputed, some sources put him to be as high as $5 million. He's one of the frontline economic minds in the countries. Godan was born in 1949. He got into politics through a windows of activism when he joined the movement against the apartheid regime. First with African National Congress, and then later joined the South African Communist Party. At the end of apartheid regime, he was elected as a member of parliament from 1994 to 1998. He later became the commissioner of South African Revenue Services from 1999 to 2009. Arguably, his most important role in the country's politics is as a minister of finance, first from 2009 to 2014 and then from 2015 to 2017. He is currently a country's minister of public enterprise. His alleged estimate $5 million net worth of the former finance minister is said to have been made from many businesses that he has in his name. He is reportedly to have shares in more than 40 companies according to his 2017 declaration of interest in parliament including as many as 25,000 shares in the different real estate property investment trusts. He has stakes in APSA, FNB, NetBank, Standard Bank. These shares are reported to be over 6,500. Other companies that the minister has shares include British American Tobacco Company, Norspers, Remgro, MTN, Steinhoff International, and BH Billiton. The values of his shares is as little as 160 rand to as high as 200,000 rand. At number 9, we got Mampila Rampele. A net worth $5.5 million. Mampila Rampele is fascinating in more ways than one. First of all, she's the only female politician in the country with a name amongst the top richest politician in the country. In 2011, she was listed as one of the richest women in Africa by Forbes magazine on the list dominated by South African women such as Bridget Radebe, Irene Chemley, Pam Golding, Wendy Luhave, Apple Baum, and many others. She was born in 1947 in then Northern Transvaal, which is now Limpopo, into a family of primary school teachers. Her experiences as a little child drove her into anti apartheid activities and her subsequent contribution to the formation of the Black Consciousness Movement. It was through these activities that she met and started the relationship with Steve Biko. Although she did not hold any significant political position, she formed her own party, Ahang South Africa, in 2013 with the hope of taking out ANC. Ahead of the country's election in 2014, she agreed to become Democratic Alliance presidential candidate before she withdrew. She led her party to clinch two seats in parliament before she resigned from politics in 2014 to continue her activities in civil society. Her decision was linked to the division that has taken over the party that she formed. A one-time managing director of the World Bank, Mampila Rampele made a net worth of $5.5 million from various investments. More so, she was involved in the Circle Capital Investment Company, which belonged to her family. Apart from this, she's a medical doctor and an academic. At number 8, we got Bulela Nimoka. His net worth? $10 million. In 2003, Bulela Nuka was named one of the richest men in South Africa, championing a net worth estimating at incredible $10 million. With that, he occupied 137 spot. Years later, he's still the wealthy man who is, in fact, one of the richest politicians in the country. 
More than that, he joins with his wife, Kumslem Lambonuta, to form one of the most respected, powerful couples in the country. Born in 1954, Bulela Nuka has come a long way as a politician. Although his achievements seem to be dwarfed because his wife rose to the president of South Africa from 2005 to 2008. More importantly, she's one of the first women to hold such position in the country. She's currently under Secretary General of United Nations, serving as an executive director of UN Women. On his part, Ulela Nunga began his career as an anti-activist like most of the other politicians of his generation. He later served as a senator in South African Parliament from 1994 to 1997, serving as ANC Chief Whip. He got elected as a National Director of Public Prosecution in the following year. He served in that capacity until 2004 when he resigned. Bulelani Nuka built his net worth of more than $10 million from his involvement in many businesses. This is not a surprise as his wife, who has been a champion of black capitalist, was encouraged the blacks of not feel ashamed of becoming filthy rich. Bulelani Nuka is currently a founder and a chairman of VUA Investment Pty Ltd, City Lodge Holdings, Menzies Aviation SA, MS Holdings, Amatlelo Agri and Rolls Technologies. At number seven, we got Tabo Mbeki. His net worth, $10 million. With Tabo Mbeki making it on the list of the richest of politicians in South Africa. It means all the former presidents of the country after the apartheid regime has made it to the list except the former president Nelson Mandela and Halime Mutlante, who served only a brief period. Abom was born in 1942 into a family that seemed to define his fate as early as enough as an activist and a politician as his parents were just that. Beyond the stand front members of the ANC, they also held close to the Marxist ideology. He was forced to flee the country in 1962 because of his anti-apartheid activities as a member of the ANC. Disguised with other members of the ANC as a football team to leave the country. After the country's independence, he became the first deputy president of the country, serving under Nelson Mandela. Tabon Baker later became the country's president in 1999. He was in power until he resigned in 2009 considered to be one of the biggest voices in the South African politics and Africa as a whole. Kabon Beke made his net worth of more than $10 million, majority through his work as a politician and a diplomat. Increasingly, the former president who has no child since the disappearance of his son alongside his brother many years ago, has no business openly linked to him. He remained as one of a very few wealthy politicians in the country who have not been drawn into business. At number six, we got the former president Jacob Zuma. He's also one of the richest, with his net worth estimated at over $20 million. He was born in 1942 to a father who was a policeman and a mother who was a domestic worker. The country's future president was only five when he lost his father leaving his mother to struggle to bring him up together with his sibling in a racial divided South Africa. Like others, he joined the anti-apartheid movement at a young age, and he also did not escape of being arrested and locked up by the apartheid government. More than that, he was sent to exile and only returned to the close to the country's independence for negotiation process. After the return of democracy, Nelson Mandela became the president. Zuma was made an executive council in KwaZulu-Natal. In 1999, he became a deputy president of South Africa until 2005. In 2007, he was elected the president of African National Congress. And then in 2009, he was sworn in as a country's president.
He remained in power until he resigned in 2018. At number five, we got F.W. de Klerk. His net worth, $46 million. Frederick Vellum de Klerk is yet another former president that has made it to the South African richest list of politicians. Born in 1936 into a wealthy family and Africana family. Before he joined politics, F.W. Tetlek's career was in law. He joined National Party under which he made it into parliament in a minority-controlled South Africa with his family political influence. Before the end of apartheid regime, he served as a state president of South Africa from 1989 until 1994, when the government of Nelson Mandela came into power. Under the new regime, he became the first deputy president of South Africa from 1994 until 1996. He significantly overseeing the end of apartheid in the country after bowing down to the superior voices of South Africans and the international community. He was a leader of the National Party from 1972 until 1997. He has came by his massive fortune from many things, including the farming business, in 2008, it was reported that he was selling one of his massive farm, which was listed at incredible 35 million rand. The property, which was at the bank of the wild Pardek Jack River, had a third manor house on the farm covering about 280 square meters. It had about 3 hectares of followed land and 14 of vineyards and 7 of olive and fruit orchards. At number 4, we got Saki Matozoma. His net worth, $60 million. Saki was born in 1957 in Port Elizabeth, growing in apartheid infested South Africa. It was almost natural inclination for him, just as many of his other peers to join the movement for the country's liberation. This did not turn too well for him as expected as he soon found himself languishing on Robben Island for the next five years. After spending time and the liberation of South Africa, Saki leaped into politics as expected. He worked for African National Congress, and in 1994, he became a member of parliament. In 1996, he decided to leave parliament to give a business shot. The motivation for him was that ANC has decided to focus on economic policy over a nationalistic drive. The politician has today made his name as one of the frontline of South African businessmen. Even though today his net worth is put at $60 million, he was once considered as one of the richest people in South Africa with a net worth of $71 million as of 2012. In fact, his numbers were speculated as much higher than what was listed. After he left parliament, he became a managing director of Transnet. From this point, his mind was reminded on business. His name has been linked to many businesses, including CP and Tle Manganese Mining Pty Ltd, of which he is a chairman. The international investment company Safika Resources Limited and Safika Holdings and Simbi and Tle Mining B are other business that is linked to him. Many other business involvement saw him becoming SA's 39 richest man in 2012, including Standard Bank and Andisa Capital. At number three, we got Herman Mashaba. His net worth, $100 million. Herman Mashaba is very much different from most of the others on this list, as he was first a businessman and then a politician. He was born in 1959 into a poor and struggling family where his mother was not almost there as she was struggling to provide for his kids while his brother was forced to drop out of school. Yemen himself was unable to complete his tertiary education. He did not join politics as early as others on this list, but it did not stop him from becoming a mayor of Johannesburg from 2016 to 2019 when he resigned because of the differences he had with DA leaders. He started his own party, Action SA, in 2020 and which is now a current chairman. Yemen Mashaba built his estimated net worth of over $100 million from his career as a businessman. He started his business very early in his life, 
His company, Black Like Me, was founded in 1985 using a loan of 30,000, which he got from his personal friend, Walter Dube. He's a man behind the company, Lifasi Investment Pty Ltd, which it's into different things, including real estate, financial services, and insurance broker, and bloodproof material. At number two, we got Tokyo Sihuale. His net worth, $200 million. Tokyo Sihuale is well known as an anti-apartheid leader who spent time behind the bars with the country's legendary leader, Nelson Mandela, on Robben Island for 13 years, and he was Born in 1953, and like many others, he started his politics at an early age as a member of African National Congress. In 1994, after the country gained independence, he became the first Premier of Gauteng and remained in charge until 1998. He disappeared from active politics scene for a long time until 2007 when he attempted to become a country's president. After his failed presidential bid, he was made a Minister of Human Settlement under Jacob Zuma until 2013. He made his net worth of estimated $200 million from businesses, which he founded after his initial exit from politics. He founded Nvelapande Group in 2003 when Nvelapande Holdings and RebSev were merged. The company is into a lot of things, including mining, energy, and real estate, he is currently a chairman of the group. Number one, topping the richest politician in South Africa at the moment, it's none other than the country's president, Cyril Ramaphosa, who breaks off a network of over $450 million. Although he's better known by many as a politician, he's also a businessman, which has made him a billionaire in rents that he is today. Born in 1952, Ramaphosa started his career as an anti-apartheid activist and a trade union leader. He was arrested during the apartheid regime before he was released. As soon as the democracy returned to the country, he remained one of the four men at the country's politics, helping him to rise to the top. He has held various positions including being the vice president and subsequently the president of the country. Ramaphosa built his network through the company that he founded in 2001, Shanduka Group, which was into mining, telecommunication, food and beverages, property, and much more. He was named amongst 10 richest men in South Africa at various point. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button and like this video and leave comments below and watch the next video. Peace upon you.